Hey guys, you're welcome back to the channel. Now, before uh, this period, I had uploaded a previous video just giving you a hint of what was going to go down tonight on the day three of the Big Brother Niger reunion level of season seven. And I must say, oh my God, I think when it comes to the Deji and Chichi ship, they're not actually done. They need at least one or two other sessions because it is unbelievable the craze and trouble and unsettled issues these two have and i would not be surprised if sometime in the future they get to start exposing themselves and it gets even way way messier than it is right now and all i must say is this like guys if you're new to this channel watch this video till the end and get the lowdown on everything that happened on this show of course don't you forget that i am the one and only lady jackson so of course the show started with abel Cast speaking to um deji and like you know asking him how was uh his experience in se and what was it with uh him being intertwined with chichi and doing and Ibuka was like oh he, he was good with doing and the other person like it was good seeing them the other person he couldn't even call chichi's name which was a huge shade to be thrown now i'm somebody who is big on being matured about issues and situations but i like drama and messy basketball so of course it was entertained then abuka showed clips where um dg was saying that the girls are throwing themselves on him especially referring to chichi and doin and then he was like you know saying that he's not the kind of person to stick to one lady and he doesn't want to be tied down he is free to do what he wants to do with anybody he chooses to and of course around this period that he was talking chichi was frowning her face and all the nine yards now he said that deji uh deji went on to even add that doing was even throwing herself this was a conversation he was having with daughter if i'm not mistaken and there was elo swags and another person uh was it elo swags yes and then he was now like doing was throwing herself at him to the point that this girl actually got naked and was throwing herself and i'm like what the hell what the hell when um Dwayne was given the opportunity to speak she was like you know what Deji is a very attractive person whatever happened happened and he ended where he ended and it, that's it for her that there's nothing much to talk about it and she's not one to come here to be all messy and crazy like somebody who is demented I'm like yes girl I like this level of maturity now this is the second time that Dwayne is showing maturity to me yesterday she apologized to i think saif and now she's speaking this way i really respect her then of course abuka turned to chichi and you know questioned her how was the experience in um the house after the house and even at cape town and then chichi said that of course this was the first question abuka asked was it cool seeing you know meeting him at um meeting deji at cape town and she was like of course he's a human being it was cool seeing him abuka went on to ask her that she's got a notion that her and deji are together but deji obviously doesn't see it that way and it is quite crazy that she didn't see it up until this time that was close to the reunion and then you know chichi said that she had pulled him to the side at one point when she started saying that people will be coming to her asking her questions that are you sure with deji what's up with deji and all that and you know she started you know getting a double mind about it and she pulled him to the side after uh, at a pool party and she asked him is this going to be a yes or no i want to know i'm an intentional person i don't want to be kept on the surface and i just keep deceiving myself and all that and you know uh indicating that doing and bella warned her that if she's really not sure she should pull out and that she recalled that he told her that you know i'm in yes i'm in for you and then he was reassuring her saying that you know even not because of the show um if not because of the game that we're in if we're outside of the house out of taking more serious this wouldn't be a game for me chichi got very pissed at a point as she started spilling out a whole lot of things you know she said that she left after she left the show that um deji would be coming to her hotel almost every night he would come like 10 p.m and leave by 4 p.m that a lot of things would be happening at a point she told him to stop coming <laughs> and everybody started laughing because it was like she was referring to the other type of coming when two people are together and stuff 
you know and she went on to say that even when she went home he kept coming to her house at some point he practically began leaving with her now this is her throwing her own shade saying that he was also throwing shade and stuff that he would come press clothes wash clothes prepare her clothes prepare things like literally they were living as a couple but he was literally still playing her you know at this point Tichi's reaction just gave me a notion and clarity that honestly let's forget it um one of the worst you can do to anybody is play with their feelings and manipulate them deji was outrightly manipulative of her because he says that she was overreacting and overthinking and then you know he started suggesting to her that she should see a therapist she should talk to somebody and this was all based on the fact that she had had several bad experiences with men and relationship where they manipulated and used her and they were just all the way they were and that was exactly what he was doing he was pretending to be the good one but he was indirectly manipulating and using her that at some point she was actually believing everything he said she would consider actually going to a therapist and on the nine yards until she started you know seeing the clear truth that this boy is actually playing me she called him that you know what if you you keep being like this like there was a time they had an issue and she told him to get out of her room and you know it's it's just what it was now down to south africa where they actually fought chichi said he felt really hurt that after they had their the issues they had in um south africa that every of the housemates went on to deji to in quotes comfort him and find out what was the issue none of them actually thought about her that she might have been hurting to except amaka who didn't come to ask questions but only just consoled her that you know what you'll be fine please be fine just take care of yourself and don't let this eat you up too much abuka went on to ask that when did he now he was referring to DJ. When did he stop having feelings for Chichi? And you know, he was like, initially, all the f- expressions of feelings he had for her during the show were genuine. There was nothing he was really hiding. But after they were evicted, it was now time to be real. And he was like, he wanted to get to know her let them know themselves begin a friendship and see how it goes into a relationship he's not someone who would jump into a relationship but then chichi was not given the opportunity it was just messy and she was not letting him get to know her and i'm like oh my god these two people little little things over time had created a huge bulk of trouble that they cannot even be able to fix at this point and still they were all both expressing and exposing deep secrets about each other to themselves which is now things that just lead to more receipts for them to embarrass themselves in future Ebuka then turned to bella whom he you know asked that you know she knows According to Ibuka, basically, Bella knows more than she's telling because he didn't necessarily call her out for that. But that's the perception I got because he asked her that, you know what, what did you see? What did you hear that you had to go to Chichi to ask her, like, are you really sure about this guy? And then, you know, she was like, DG was friends with her and shakes and then she's been reading him and reading the situation and she's not seeing the energy that chichi is giving she's not see, seeing it from dg so she had to confirm and at some point bella said that she added that um dg hinted that he you know he doesn't want to go into a relationship he's just here to have fun basically and it was something that was strong enough for her to tell her fellow lady that you know what this is no go area for you because she kept asking chichi and chichi would be like oh yes he said he loves me that he's not this kind of person to show off his expressions or feelings to the public but he keeps telling me that he loves me he cares about me and he wanted us to grow a relationship i'm like damn damn this guy is manipulative to say the least let's just be honest and yes we can easily just push it that oh you guy is bad blah 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 we understand it but when we say manipulative person we cannot shy away from that chicha went on to expose what happened at cape town that she warned him to stay away from her but then deja would always come over to her house and then that particular night that he had the issue he came and he spoke they had a long conversation (laughs) an intense conversation for three hours literally the housemates again the ex-housemates began to laugh and you know she said um that after that um 
DJ was now using her to chase clout when it came to the shippers that he would be making them think that there was something Asha told them that they should take away her name from this because there was nothing between them anymore Chi Chi went on to reveal the fact that at one point where she was triggered she was really pissed and expressing himself herself for what he was doing to and with her that he removed her fo- his phone and recorded her now why do I feel like this guy actually got a nude video or picture of her which he might want to leak someday which would be very messy and terrible he might actually get arrested if he tries that but of course it might not be that because he later said that he needed to keep a record because in the world we are now when a lady says something people will believe her and not believe the man and he needed something to be able to defend himself with you know they just want her not to end but he then went on because at this point they were having an exchange of words and they just literally went on to warn her that if she's saying that she's going to expose him that she should be careful because she knows that this big brother platform is her only platform and even though she makes more money than him that if she tries it she'll be the one to regret that was when chi chi blotted out that you useless boy you're not a man you're this that you go and sleep with all that women just to sustain your lifestyle and boom i'm like what this girl is really pissed but there are some kind of things you're not supposed to be saying you know and it, it's just crazy because this conversation became like it was going to take over an hour. Ibuka had to say, you know what, we're done with this. And you guys just submit your receipt so that the public would get to judge. And I'm like, I cannot wait for how messy that's going to be. In fact, the tweets from tonight and tomorrow is going to be unbelievable. Now, that's a loadout. And I'm going to see you on the next one.